let me introduce you guys to the true end game of punishing gray raven base decoration and so as you can see we have this film camera pointing towards a closet um okay you know what guys maybe i can like recreate a scene from an adult video hi welcome back to another punishing gray raven video my name is lace and today i wanted to talk about well we're here now the, this is the end game we've reached the end game like generally speaking if you've been playing from day one even if you've been playing from like week two like this is kind of it and i want to talk a little bit more about the future or like you know what is going to go on uh from now because for like the last Last two weeks or so it's kind of been like the same thing and so like i felt like it's about time to talk about this and the reason i wanted to talk about it is because like well this realistically was one of the first videos i wanted to make it's like kind of the expectations versus reality and it's kind of a good and a bad thing like for example i've got an end goal for my b live and so i log on i do two of her shard runs or her interlude runs just hoping that i'm eventually going to be able to pop her ss to sss and then after that i go over and claim stamina and do all the dailies and then like dump it all into the frozen stage so like i'm saying the which one the challenge mode challenge one i think yeah so the c1 mode challenge one just because it's a little bit faster than the other ones after that i go to the shop and then i do some window shopping looking at all the bartons and stuff and yeah that's that's kind of it <laughs> and if it's warzone time then i do warzone and if it's pain cage time then i do pain cage and so guys this kind of like end game loop is what i kind of wanted to talk about because i do see a lot of people especially in the comments or like in the community that are like well wait that's it are we literally going to be doing warzone and pain cage like for the rest of our lives as well as like grind out the events and are the events actually like identical to the ones previous like where you just grind out currency and then you buy stuff with it the short answer to that is yes this this is pretty much it the only thing that's going to be drastically different is probably like golden vortex in which like you've got these guys over here but realistically this is kind of like your story 2.0 and then you've got um what else have we got tower of babel that's the one i wanted to talk about anyway tower of babel um actually i don't know if i can show you anything here but it's essentially kind of like your pain cage where like you go fight bosses however what you will be able to do is actually take risks on these bosses and so if you take enough risks it's going to be really really freaking hard so imagine old mate leon the butler and he's just like chunking you like one hitting you every single freaking time on top of that he's got more hp he's just like nastier in general and like honestly that doesn't sound really good to me but what is really interesting about like all of these game modes tower of babel phantom pain cage and warzone there is one thing in common and it's that the rewards are always relatively easy to get or they're not really like massively impactful so for example this bad boy like i think i'm going to be demoting this time uh where am i oh wait sorry this is phantom pain cage and so like let me check the rewards over here and so as you can see like generally speaking if you can like kind of get into the upper echelon so i'm talking like about like one to ten percent like you're not going to be missing overly much or even like ten to thirty percent like generally speaking especially hitting like the end game like it's okay to be anywhere here i would argue that phantom pain cage is a little bit more important than warzone like these bad boys over here like yeah they're pretty good they get you like those s shards to get them up to ss however the great thing about this one as well as warzone is that you really could take it casually you could like actually try hard really hard and like try hit one percent every time or you could just chill and still get like a pretty decent amount and this holds even more true for warzone so if i pop back over here uh warzone i believe i'm demoting right now yeah 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 and so as you can see reward is 160 but like the defending is 200 like realistically Realistically speaking, everyone's going to get like pretty decent rewards and then the ones who try hard are going to get like pretty, pretty decent rewards. It's not like there's like a massive gap in which we're losing a lot of black card income from it or anything. And the reason I wanted to mention this is because it's essentially the same story for Tower of Babel. For you lads who play Arknights and are familiar with like the contingency contract system or events, Tower of Babel is essentially that. So like you get risks and then you go fight the bosses and then like the more risk you take, the more points you get, kind of that kind of thing, right? And so the rewards that you get, there are some black cards there are some like other goodies however again it's kind of like participation rewards right as long as you kind of do enough you're going to get like the majority if not all of the rewards and so what does that leave for like the hardcore gamers so like i'm talking the people in the top one percent stuff like that you get medals you get shiny shiny medals and i kind of like the approach that they've actually taken here because all of these game modes it's kind of like well you can participate or you can try hard right and for me personally whilst i have been try harding i have started recently getting a little bit more like 
not really lazy, but more like casual about it. And so I just wanted to give you guys like a little bit of assurance that even if you are not hitting like those top ranks and stuff like that, like you guys are good. But if we come back to like kind of the main purpose of this video, it's like, yeah, this is kind of it. Once we get like Tower of Babel, once we get kind of like the contingency contract, the risk taking for the boss fights, realistically speaking, guys, that's like it. The end game loop is like, we're going to be getting new characters. We're going to roll for them, hopefully with pity. After we roll for the character, generally speaking, we're going to farm the event. So like the patons for this event over here, generally speaking, as each character rolls out, they are going to get their best in slot in the shop. So for example, the next one is Espianca. Well, there is one before, but like for the Espianca one, for example, we're actually going to get Heisen's and Heisen gives you electric damage or thunder damage, which she actually utilizes. And then so after farming out the memories, you're going to be getting the resonances on them. And then throughout all of this, you're just going to be doing pain cage as well as war zone, as well as tower babel when it does come. And so that's kind of it. And so like the reason I want to share all this is like, I wanted to shed a bit of light on like the end game loop. After playing all the way here, like I want to answer the question, well, like guys, what's next? What exactly, what do we do now? And so what exactly does this mean? Well, for you guys, for most people, there are like two pathways. Like, like I said, there's a the guys who can take it casually and this like can actually become a side game. So like I, like I said, the end game loop right now probably takes me about five minutes or maybe, maybe 10 minutes, something like that. With the introduction of a couple more features, we're going to be getting like skip tickets or stamina stacking on like the event stages as well as some of the resource stages as well. And so what this means is that PGR can actually transition into a side game where you would spend maybe like five minutes to 10 minutes a day, like actually on the game. Now, on the other hand, you could theoretically treat this as a main game because you could mold in all of these different game modes. You can try hard 24 seven in Warzone. You can try hard as hard as you can for Phantom Pain Cage. And then when the Tower of Bell comes out, you can also try hard that one for the shiny medals. And so, yeah, that's really it. I think today is going to be a relatively short video just because like, yeah, I'm kind of in that end game loop where I'm like, oh, I think I'm going to take like that more casual route. There's just so many freaking good games right now, but like PGR does really scratch that like action RPG itch. But yeah, realistically speaking, that's it guys. That's kind of it. And so I guess with all of that in mind, maybe you can make a decision now. Like uh, I know a lot of people are starting to get bored already. And this really is for like those kinds of people or like the people who do want to see a little bit more in the future. For me personally, I'm not going to drop the game. I think it is a really good game. I enjoy playing it. However, what I don't enjoy is actually molding and actually like getting those high scores and stuff like that. I just like doing it. I'm just like, you know, I'm just hacking and slashing, getting some sick dodges in and stuff like that. Getting in the matrix, pulling off some like cool combos one out of 10 times, the other nine out of 10 I'm dying. But the bottom line is that at least I'm having fun with it. But yeah, I'm not going to drag this video out for much longer. And so with that being said, let's start wrapping up this bad boy. All right, lads, I've got a secret question for you guys. And it's, well, how are you guys enjoying the end game loop of this game? Are you guys finding it a little bit too lacking? Is this what you guys expected? Or is the existence of like the war zone and the pain cage enough to actually keep you guys going for this one. Do you guys treat this as more of like a main game or a side game? And are you guys happy with that? And so yeah, if you guys could drop your thoughts down in the comments below, I would really appreciate it because it means you've watched up until the end of the video. And so for that, thank you guys so much. But otherwise, please consider a like, a sub, a comment, a follow. You guys already know what it is. And as Leon once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.